My daughter. The year we spent on the road gave me time to think about things. Respect, responsibilities, duties. They all mean nothing compared to what's important. My family, you. I'm sorry, I only got it now. I'll go through this snow-covered graveyard with a sieve if that's what it takes to find the cure. As for Artyom, he feels his guilt. He wants to atone. I'll just have to see that atonement doesn't cost him his life. The important part is that I'm back in Metro, and no mutant can stop me here. Radiation on the surface is different, though. Frankly, I thought I was buying a one-way ticket for myself going in. You said you were close, but why do you need the Institute? You are persistent. We're on a mission. But that's all I can tell. But now, thanks to the green stuff given to us by Kirill, we both have a chance to achieve the goal and survive. So, Private, our team left. I'd better get ready to set out, too. What about me, Colonel, sir? You'll stay here. I'm putting you in charge of communications. I need someone to coordinate the operation. Can you handle the responsibility? Yes, sir. I can. Good. By the way, Private, how did you live here before the riots, when there was still enough green stuff to go around? Uh, we did all right. But my dad was always out on a mission or a patrol. So you barely saw him? Oh, no. Dad did his best to come home earlier, especially on the holidays. We even spent the last New Year's together. Colonel, sir, the maintenance guys asked to remind you to burn all the slime around the pumps once you reach them. Uh oh, I say the slime is done for. Colonel Klebnikov himself is taking up the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jinx it. As for flamethrower, where is it? Here you go, Colonel, sir. Mind you, it's quite heavy. I know. Is it pressurized? It should be, but I'd still check. The handle's on the side. Give it a pump or two if needed. Ah, uh, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Give Slime some hell, too. We'll do just that, sir. We certainly will. Break a leg. Break both. Oh, thanks. Older to all groups. I just saw a fully grown worm, so watch out. Older, red one here. Roger that. Red two, Roger. Red three, Roger that. Sir. Good.
We're gonna need some explosives. Red 3, you don't need explosives. Just find the valve that stops the water flow. Roger that, Alder. Alder, Red 3 here. I found the valve and am proceeding as planned. Good job, Red 3.
them and the pumps break down. And he just says he don't give a fuck. Can you imagine such an asshole? Thank you. So, are you telling me to steal them from another station? You know as well as I do, they don't make them no more. Oh, oh, do you think I'll just shoot all my green stuff at once and go to outside to get it? You want the results? You either get me the fuck or go and, well, I told him to fuck himself. So he just turns all red and shots. No green stuff for you this month. And I go, really? Then I'm doing no work this month. Fix the pumps yourself, you asshole. So that was it for that job.
had maintenance on the line. They say the water's flowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Great. Thank you. Gentlemen, you did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Frankly, we were on sweep-up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that. Sweep-up duty. Sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> great. We'll get out of those suits and go rest. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. I'll call them. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Right. Here. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transport from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> Roll up your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Hey, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospect. <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we move to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Oh, yeah. yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. Ha! <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. I see the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime. They've been working non-stop for 20 years. Ah, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counter flooding system will give up the ghost. <laughs> we'll have to row boats here. <laughs> you 
would make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too! Please, spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. And don't forget, after the official ceremony, we'll be waiting for you and Kirill to drop by, as usual. We'll be there. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir, please proceed. The General is expecting you. I don't need your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, Slava. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you were out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes, stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? All right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a sec. I better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer, unless... How about some tea? <sighs> you do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man! An Oscom fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. Uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. Colonel, sir. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! The brass! Got it! Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Look, one day we are going to go outside, are we not? You're plenty beautiful as you are! Put something on and let's go! <laughs> I 
I bet you didn't expect an ambush here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your Citra? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There is just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see, I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on. Mission accomplished! Good job, Private. Thank you. Oh, Dad, I have something for you. Here, Petrovich helped me fix it. Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow. The tree is so beautiful. Yes. Listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year. But all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year. Expecting change for the better. And it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a Happy New Year! Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, Happy New Year! Damn, this sucks, the damn generator is out again. Kirill, Miller here. Comms check, do you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear, Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stores. Where's that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitute from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private. to remain calm. Voluntarily submit your stocks of radio protector to the authorities. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir? Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. 
So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first and then the rest... You know what's drinks? at stake. Our children among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you of all people. Think about Kirill. I for one thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. <sighs> I want another smoke. How about you? Nah, I'll pass this time. Well, suit yourself. <sighs> it's been a while since I had smokes like this. So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. Like Hello, sir. It's been two days! Coffee up! Calm down, How citizens! We'll be starting soon! Please, tell them to do it! Tell them to do it! Tell them to start handing it out! Step we away. can't wait anymore! Colonel, sir, permission Please to address. Please stay calm. They'll be starting soon. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. I see. Let's go. What the hell is with you? Hey, I feel like you like me a lot. Watch what you touch. I just remembered the New Year. Didn't we have a drink right here? Over here, come over here, sir. Open up, Petrovich. Slava, uh, come in. Thanks. Follow me. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. A kint? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. What the hell is with you? This is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but it we was followed the rules. Honestly. I found I a cash, sir. It. He does have some. I can't Not too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. Sir, this can't be all he has stashed. We should search more. Enough. We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me some. I'm sorry, too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Thank Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slava. Enough is enough! Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air, it was calculated properly, and you're short. Pay the rest! Look, officer, think about it. Where am I supposed to get so much? You two don't bring stuff from the Saw that? Come, open up. Ah, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want. You don't want what? To be a private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I went to see Biraskaya, and I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up, and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. 
You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah, if I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them! They must apologize! Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Done. Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Dad, do you really have to go? We didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me, Dad. If we, Oscom, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life, yet I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son. Colonel, sir. 
Slava, I'm sorry about that. I know you had no choice. <laughs> had I said nothing, they would have never believed they Water found the door. Under the bridge. Either I or you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you too. See you on the train. Thank you. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. Well, don't stand around. Man the defenses. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, I'll take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir. HQ, Klemnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. Colonel, sir! They blew the airlock and are coming down from the surface!
endorsements. It's either us or them. Operation successful. Pawns are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. You fucker. <laughs> what do you mean? Already left. <laughs> what? What's going on? We're covering evacuation. <sighs> evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava! There's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership! Everyone else is doomed! Gas was used just to cut the agony short. So you knew it! You knew it all along, you motherfucker! <coughs> Did I have a choice? And what difference does it make now? They made a mistake leaving me, though. <laughs> Petrov! Petrov! The fuckers left without us! Get Seryoga on the line now! <laughs> what? Dead? Seryoga? Son? Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up there! Go! <laughs> So, what do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <laughs> so long, Slava. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dad? Dad! Uh, Uncle Tolia? Did he just kill himself? Why? Don't look there. I'm sorry I broke your order. There was a shooting at the station. Then it all went quiet, and you didn't come. I was worried, and I went looking for you. Listen, I told you earlier. Who should be told the truth, and who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I understand. Good. And now... Let's go home, son. Miller here. I'm at the bunker entrance. Roger that, Colonel. You'll be off the grid inside. So please, be careful. I will, Kirill. Miller, over and out. Pine, this is Older. Come in, Over. Older, this is Pine. Over. Private, I'm at the bunker's door. I'll be off the grid while I'm down there. Don't know how long. When is the next scheduled radio contact? Keep it sharp, Colonel. The battery? Keeping it charged. The door? Locked. I'm eating the liver too. I burn the slime, and I don't go to the dirty stations ever. Dad, fill out the whole cheat sheet for me. I'm reading off it now. You do just that. Reading helps you remember. That's all, Pine. I'm going offline. Roger that, Older. Over and out. Pine, come in. Over. Pine is over. I love you, son. A whole lot. Uh, I love you too, Dad. And I want you to eat that liver without fail. Over and out.
Evacuate the complex immediately. Attention. Reactor biological shielding is compromised. All personnel are to evacuate the complex immediately. All personnel are to evacuate the complex immediately. Biological shielding compromised. Initiating reactor shutdown. Reactor containment failure. Switching to reserve power. Reactor containment failure. Reserve power engaged. Reserve power source failing. System reboot imminent. System reboot preparation. Reserve power 
missile failing. Preparation is forty percent complete. System reboot preparation is sixty percent complete. System will reboot now. Reactor 
containment zone. Reserve power and gain. Reserve power chain. Repeat the main power source. All personnel in the in the complex and you can reach while up in the civil complex and maybe in the civil area with the reboot. Amen. System reboot complete. Repeat the main power source. System will reboot now. All personnel are in the in the complex and you can to evacuate the complex immediately. Wait, 
of rest. I'm just so tired. There you are, brother. You found the maps and took a break, I see. I need a breather, too. Boy, do these hunks of iron chafe. Gotta watch out not to stay for too long, though. Your son sent me here, told where to look. He's tough, 
Your Kirill. Yes, I can see his effort. Children, it's always about them. I'm here because of my daughter. She's smart, strong, kind, beautiful. I can't even tell you how proud I am of her and how much I love her. I'm trying to be a father, but end up a colonel. It's as if by showing affection, I'd also show my vulnerability, not just to her, to her husband too. At first, I even thought that boy was all right. But his obsession with truth started driving me mad. He kept risking his life while he had the love of the best woman in the world. Decent people want normal things. A thicker broth, a warm place to call home, and healthy children. But he wants truth. Let me glance at those maps. Boy, was I mad at him. But then I took a closer look at the world and... Re-examined my life up to that point somewhat. Especially when I heard your story. I saw my past self in you, friend. We both served the great lie, because we both made ourselves believe it was necessary. And if not for him, I would have ended up like you did. But now, finally, my life has a real purpose for a change. All because I can finally look the truth in the eye. I think you understand. Thank you for the maps. Don't think it was all in vain. You saved us all. And Kirill? I'll give him this watch and make sure he gets out of this hellhole. You have my word. Well, it's time. Farewell, Colonel Klipnikov. Rest easy. Artyom, stay with me! Hold on! Son...